Well, how would you like to fly into the teeth of a monster storm like Hurricane Irene? Not I, but that is the job of a group of pilots, scientists, and crew members based out of MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa. And this morning, the group known as the Hurricane Hunters took our brave Jeff Butera along with them for the bumpy ride right into Hurricane Irene. We took off at 4 in the morning aboard a Lockheed P-3 aircraft, leaving behind MacDill Air Force Base in the lights of Tampa for the two-and-a-half-hour flight to an area near the Bahamas where Hurricane Irene is swirling. They're going to be the ones collecting the actual drops on data. On the way there, meteorologist Eric Olhorn showed me where scientists would collect instantaneous data about the hurricane two different ways. Once the sun came up and we got to the storm, they'd collect wind data off Doppler radar on the tail of the plane. And two, they'd gather pressure, temperature, and moisture readings by dropping these devices called drop suns, about the size of a paper towel tube, out of the plane. The sensors are actually right in there in that little that metal, metal strip right there. But it's not that easy. The challenge, of course, is that you are literally flying into a hurricane. You don't know how bad it's going to be or if it's not going to be bad at all. Lieutenant Commander Kathy Martin was one of two pilots to take us right through Hurricane Irene. As you fly through, you see sheets of rain pound the cockpit. You experience the wind gusts as the plane feels more like a roller coaster. Up, down, left, right. It's worst at the eye wall. But other than the eye itself, you and the pilot actually see very little. No, you don't. You have to rely on your radar. Martin flew us through Irene four times at 8,000 feet while the scientists collected data. So these outer rain bands here. And by the end of the trip, flight director Barry Damiano could tell me with certainty Irene is strengthening. I've been doing this almost 25 years, and, and to be at the, uh, the focal point of getting the data to the forecasters in real time for them to make their forecast, um, it's pretty cool. We landed at 12.30, an eight-and-a-half-hour flight. With the scientists knowing they had helped predict where Irene would go and how bad it would be, and me having used two air sickness bags. I'm Jeff Butera, ABC Action.